Hey guys, what's up? It's 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today it's Grail Hunting Update number two. And the topic, well, you'll see. I made some plays. Uh, I told myself I wouldn't let my channel be dominated by these Grail Hunting videos, but I've taken big steps in the Grail Hunt, and just wanted to update you on what's happening. So let's roll with it, let's get right into it. What moves did I make? Well, you might remember, at the outset of the journey, I got in with about 2750 bucks. Bought a KD Finest PSA 10 and a KD Bowman Chrome PSA 9. Um, you may remember that I was thinking flip the Finest, hold the Bowman Chrome for a little bit. Well, I bought the Finest on February 27th, the Bowman Chrome about that same point, and I'm already out of both of them. It's been about two to three weeks. That's really rare for me to move that fast. So why did I make the move? Well, the KD prices have been on a tear despite him being injured. A good amount of it due, was due to stuff like, you know, Blake Griffin signing, Nets title chances rising. You know, it, the kind of the notion, right, that this was KD's team. You've heard it. You've heard it everywhere. And it, it's justified to me, in a sense, right? It's justified that if the Nets title chances increase, the KD's card prices should increase. But I just don't know it was as justified, justified this huge hike that we've seen. The rise is really fast, and I bought these KDs with the goal of flipping that capital into some Jordans, probably, so I wanted to get out of them if they ran. And I made the sale now because, theoretically, I've left meat on the bone for the, the buyer, right? I tried selling on my slabs, mission failure. Um, I wasn't able to get them sold quickly, so I had to resort to eBay. And if I'm selling on eBay, I want to leave a little, you know, I, I don't want to sell at the peak. So if I sell at the absolute peak, I think I'm getting hit with a return. And in a quest like this, the return is devastating. And on eBay, it's a very real fear, especially as you dabble in these bigger dollar cards. So we're trying to avoid that at all costs. I think I did it. Prices are up right now a little bit from where I sold them. As long as we don't have anything terrible here in the next couple of weeks, I think I should be in the clear. But yeah, I just wanted to get the money, just get the money out put it to work, have it available to put to work. Um, also, I think it's worth noting that the fact that KD's prices have continued to climb while you've seen um, declines in guys like Jordan, guys like Braun, I think the multiples are starting to get out of whack. Uh, KD was definitely undervalued before this run, but um, he's not LeBron. He is not LeBron. It's plain. It's simple. And I, the multiples are out of whack. You can go study those, um, but you can see with how far down the LeBron Chrome has come and the KD Chrome, I don't think, to my knowledge, has moved nearly as much. The multiples are not quite right. You look at the Bowman Chrome, you'll see it too. But how much did I make? That's what you guys might want to know. Because of the fees, took a hit, obviously. Came back with 350 in net profits. Between the two, about a 13% return over two to three weeks. So, Today's hobby, 13% sounds like laughable, like it's terrible. 13%? Well, what kind of a guy can only get 13%? Well, first of all, one, reality check. We should all, you know, take some time to think about real life and realize that equity markets on average earn about 7% a year. And then we just did 13% in two to three weeks. You can do 13% in two to three weeks too. Trust me, you, we all know you can do a lot better than that even. And two, this was just returned or earned over a really short window. Sure, stuff doubles in two to three weeks in today's market, right? But I'm not going to be mad about that money. Plus, this was just a stepping stone on getting to the play that I had the most conviction in. Got me more money to make those plays. I'm happy about it. If you're still with me, drop a like, drop a sub. We're going to get into the what now, like where we're, what my next play is, how I'm evaluating my next play next. But... Before we get there, if you could drop a like, drop a sub, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're enjoying the Grail Hunting series. Maybe some plays you have in mind that I could use a little extra cash for. Just let me know. Drop a comment. But where am I going now? I got $3,100 now to the fund instead of $2,750. So originally, you guys know, I had Jordans in mind. Specifically, a promo, a sticker, or a FLIR base. I've become slightly wary of the Fleer base since I would have to buy such a low grade that I'm not sure if I can realize that grade of appreciation. Um, something that the recent market softening has kind of taught me, kind of got me thinking about, 
and I didn't, people used to talk about this, I feel like they don't talk a ton about it now, is that pop graded higher statistic. Um, that's something that I think matters a lot to me. I think that the demand is so much more steady at the top of the food chain, so the pop graded higher matters a ton. I'd have to buy way down the food chain on the FLIR base. Um, too many cards in higher grades. I just don't see, one, I see downside risk with being the lower grade. Two, I just don't see the upside as much as the as if I can get a higher grade copy of a card. Um, if a card booms or if a card hits, the ones if you you know two cards hit and they're the same price, one of them's a higher grade copy of one and one's a lower grade copy of the other. The higher grade I think is going to boom. But anyway, sorry, got a little rambly. We're gonna get back to it. Promo. Sick of me showing this, but I might be buying another one. The the copy much like this that I'm considering is that PSA 8. It's what's in my range. has a pop of 1,200, which it's worth noting seems to be increasing. I, I, I could have sworn they were in the 1,000s or the 1,100s before, but um, they, they appear to be increasing a little bit. It's nothing to be too worried about, but worth noting. There's about only about 1,000 graded higher, 9s and 10s. Um, 10s are like 100, maybe less than 100. If you have the money, buy the 10. I think I still am of the camp that that 10 is an absolute steal. But this is something that I think matters a lot, right? There are 1,200 of this. They're only 1,000 grading higher. It's lower. It's relatively low pop for stuff of this period. And it's a low pop higher. Price peaked at 6K. We found a solid floor in that 26 to 2,800 range. Huge drop. So what are the things I like here? Obviously, that huge discount to the peak is attractive. Um, but what means the most to me is one, the small pop, relatively, relatively small pop, graded higher for a cool rookie card, that's big, and two, that a floor has been set. It's worth wondering maybe whether this will fall farther after that FLIR PSA 10 has shown some softness. I don't think that the FLIR PSA 10 market really impacts the PSA 8 promo market, but that, you know, it, it's worth maybe waiting a week, you know, just, just seeing what happens. But all in all, it looks like an awesome buy. I, I see potential. I can buy a high grade. It's at a discount to what it was trading at before, which is healthy. It makes me feel safer. And what makes me feel the most safe is that we found a floor. Next card, I'll just keep showing you this because I don't have a copy of the next one. It's the sticker. The copy in my range there is also the PSA 8. It has a pop, though, of 3,491 with 2,000 graded higher, which honestly isn't terrible um, for that FLIR set. The, the pops on the there's so much of that FLIR made, but the sticker's a tough grade. Um, I think the stickers are on the back of the pack. I could be wrong about that. But uh, what I know I'm not wrong about is that people have said that that sticker can be condition sensitive. And that's the reason that this pop is relatively, um, relatively low. Uh, it does have that brand recognition, though, of being from the 86 FLIR packs, which I think helps it. Price peaked at 11K in early February. That's nuts. 11K. Also, if you look at those graphs, you'll see that the sticker before the biggest run recently was, a, was, was trading below last dance hype and then just blew the top off. Absolutely nuts. That makes me a little wary how low we were, and how when the promo started to get a little bit more ground, you know, the promo was up a lot from the last dance hype, or was up a decent amount from the last dance hype, like 4x, I think it was about. This was not that. It was something to consider. I'm getting a little off topic, getting a little rambly. I'm getting a little excited, honestly. I, you know, I, I'm very excited about this play, but it's about 3,500 now for the sticker PSA 8. It's still a little out of my range. 3,500 though, down from 11,000 is quite a tumble. Um, but you'll also worth noting that the floor is not set yet on that sticker. It's still going down. And the fact that it ran from such a, a low point up to 11,000 does make me a little wary. In the past three months, the percent increase on the sticker is much higher than that of the promo or the base. So it's, it's run a lot more in the past three months. Does make me a little wary, probably leaning towards the promo. But the other option, which I did not think we would be considering here, is this. Bowman Chrome PSA 9 Braun. LeBron did not think he would be an object, uh, potential consideration. But 
I'd consider the Bowman Chrome PSA 9 if it falls below 2,500. Uh, a couple sales last night, about 28, 29, I think, uh, at the time of filming. Currently, yeah, comping there. Peaked at around 4,500, maybe 5,000. I'm not sure I like it as much as the Jordans, but his stuff is selling off hard right now. With the injury, um, if they sell off more, yeah, this is a buy. If you've got cash, the, if you got cash, I, I, I think that if you've got cash, you're looking to buy goats. Yeah, this is a time to be moving. Wait though, and I have said it so many times, you got to be patient, and it's what I'm going to do on this grail hunt. You got to wait for the floor to be set. Maybe even wait until you start to see those prices upticking a little bit. That's your time to pounce, right? Because what we saw from August until this run in like January was we saw a fall, and then from like October, October and November were almost entirely flat. I would not be surprised if we see that again. So you're in no rush, really, if you think about it. This stuff, I don't think, will come roaring back in two to three weeks. It, it'll, it will take longer than that. So you're in no rush. Be patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to watch the sticker. I'm going to watch the Bowman Chrome PSA 9. I'm going to watch the promo. And the quest for the grail, guys, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And while there might be plays that might mature faster... These are plays that I have so much conviction in that I don't think I think they're too good to pass up. So that's where my head's at. I'll let you know. Um, I may have a couple, a couple extra, a couple hundred bucks of free capital. I might be making some smaller side plays with in the Grail Hunt budget. I'll let you know if I pick anything up for those. You'll see a video, so you'll know what I'm up to. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment, and I'll catch you next time.